Um, pray for us, pray for yourselves, and don't shoot on yourselves. <laughs>
Um, so, so it was really a big thing back then, uh, 2019. And now it's 2022. And I, I hardly saw any mention of this because it isn't the first time slaves were in America. And it isn't, you know, something like this. As a matter of fact, UNESCO, you know, UNESCO, United Nations something or other. August 23rd, they had, um, they had remembrance, slavery remembrance day. And they were like, uh, you know how we like thank uh, military members for their service because uh. because of their sacrifices we have a better life. Like you, you don't you think about oh we feel so bad for slaves um, that type of thought, but you don't usually have the thought of like because of their sacrifices our lives are better. Do you know what I mean? Like no. Okay, so you have to explain this one thoroughly. Meaning they were their horror. Um, yeah, I have to, have to explain that. Fix that up for us. What he was saying, to honor their sacrifices. Um, In a way of saying, you know, never again. Saying never again, but also like, okay, so maybe maybe think of the, the, the southern plantations of the United States. Like, that was forced labor. It was slavery. It was kidnapping and, you know, everything like this. But because of these people, like... That is how these industries or these textiles or whatever, th- these things happen in the United States. So then we say like, oh, like it was terrible that they were kidnapped and it was terrible that they were used. But then we forget how much they did for civilization, for, 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 um. But, but don't you think a lot of people would say, could have done without the, uh, absolutely. the, old, the old Costco factories. Absolutely. We could, we could do without it, but like... Rewind us 200 years and I'll still be happy if there was no slavery. Okay, absolutely. Everyone will be happy without slavery. But to think that the, that the, that the people who were slave trade across the Atlantic and they were used, um, they also worked very hard and made huge um, advances in the United States, even though they were enslaved, even though... They were kidnapped victims. They actually contributed to the United States. They were vital. But here's my problem with what you're saying. Maybe, I that's, know, why, maybe that's why people don't... I know your heart is in the right place with this, but if... I, I'm sure you will meet anyone who's an advocate um, for you know, anti-slavery would say, created what for who? Created America for the descendants of those slaves? You're, no. No. So it's like... You you don't know how much they did for America. It's how much they did for white America. No. And still to this day, no, that's not they, what don't, I'm they don't see the benefit Listen, of. Listen, like I said, UNESCO has Slavery Remembrance Day on August 23rd. The Sisters of Charity of Nazareth have Remembrance Day today, which is August 25th. And all I'm saying is, it's it it... it, it it is absolutely hard. Nobody will de- nobody will um, go against you for saying that. All we all agree, slavery is terrible. We wish it hadn't happened, and it shouldn't have happened. And the life would be better if it had never happened. But it's a little piece of history. Can we acknowledge or or not celebrate? Because that's the, definitely the wrong word. But can you acknowledge and honor the something that an enslaved person did, even though they were enslaved to do it? Because otherwise, I feel that you are just um, you're you're depersonalizing them. It's just like, oh, the slaves, the slaves had to do. Okay, they had to do field work, or okay, the slaves had to do this. But like, is uh, it? You're taking the human out of them, even still, and it's not human beings who are doing stuff, right? Well, I mean, that's what they say. They say that like. Um, you'll hear the argument of the backbone of this country was built on the backs of slaves. Right. And it's important to remember that. And even so, I think my argument before it was, oh, well, you know, there's still so much that that um, has been from that well, down the road, still not helping them. But looking back, yeah, I, I guess it's the reverse looking of who built this country. Yeah. And it's it, hard. It, it wasn't the plantation owners. They didn't build no. anything. And, and and it's hard, right? <clears throat> I hate when people say, when they talk and they go, right? I hate that. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely hear what you're saying. Kind of, sort of, in a, in a weird way. But this, is, this isn't, like, we have, like, Juneteenth, which is a celebration yeah, I, of, the, yeah. of the end of slavery. But this is saying slavery lasted how many? 400 years? 270 years? American slavery. I don't know. Because like I said, even August 25th, 1619, there were still s- slaves had been being brought. Probably rich okay, people. Well, gen- generally. 
250 years. This was a ship. Okay. <laughs> Boat, the comfort. Um, so a lot of you know, a lot of what we celebrate is, is the end. Or, yes. Or then this is saying, that's 200 years of, of human beings. Right. And let's not forget them. Right. Let's not forget what they did. Right. Let's not forget their families and their love. And the lasting and, and, imprint. It- and, and, and the the country that they built mm-hmm. we that, that you know like we couldn't have built without them if we yeah, if we erase that time right like let's not talk we don't talk about brune no we don't talk about slavery no 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 if you erase that time then you have white people let's not talk about that a beautiful america right, right? it's right. like that start and finish you erase that and it's like look at the country we built yeah it's 300 years there of so much innovation and, and building yeah. and hard work that was solely to a group of people that we don't want to talk about. Right. And so this is like, no, let's talk about it. Let's talk about, yeah. who, built, let's talk about who built this country. That is what it is. <laughs> I'm serious. Because yeah. now as you're talking, it's becoming clearer to me. When you just say, oh, I feel so bad that there were slaves. Mm-hmm. You're putting them like here. Yeah. And when you think about what you just said, all those years and all the things that happened, they're, they're up here. You yeah. know, it, yeah. it's. Even, and, and talk about equity and equality. They even started from so much lower and still yeah. shot up. All right, yeah, that's really what it is. It's uh, let, let's not let's not not talk about it. Let's talk about who was building this country for two hundred years. Yeah, you know how long that is. Yes, two hundred years. Yes, two hundred years ago it was eighteen twenty-two. Right, right. Imagine from then to the now, if we just erased that and said, "Well, we're not going to talk about that." But look at America now. Yeah, look at us with our cell phones. All right. <laughs> How are we doing, guys? We're doing great. So ready, we're, ready to go? It's, yeah, it's, it's uh, seventeen. It's Thursday. Um, you know what time it is. It's time for walk. Oh, no, sorry. One more thing. <laughs> La. Thank you, Connor. Um, Connor gave us. You didn't even see it yet. Um, he said because we're so Irish and we're so Catholic. Um, Connor, uh, f- super friend, super super friend, f- super friend, super family friend, friend family. Um, oh yeah, that looks perfect. Um, with the clatter, he gave us a beautiful anything I want it to be. I could hang it. I could use it as a dish. He was like, "Throw your keys in it." I'm like, "No, it's too nice." Um, and that was a gift to me and Spencer. My friends and family bring light to the cottage, warmth to the heart, and joy to the soul. Irish proverb. Proverb. <laughs> the proverbial proverb. Thank you, Connor. All right, guys. It is walk through Thursday. Roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What is going on, guys? We might have skipped one word Wednesday this week, but we're not skipping walk through Thursday. No, no, no. Um, what do we do on walk through Thursday? We open up the Bible. The Bible's open. Once the Bible's open, we pick a verse out of the Bible. You may have never heard of it before. Everyone knows the Bible. Everyone knows what it means. Yeah. To be Christian, maybe not everyone, but probably most people watching this podcast. Right. But there's so much in there. It's not just it's not just all you know the few verses that we hear. Yeah. And um, although we like the overarching themes of the Bible as a whole, sometimes it's good to just pick a random verse and say, "I'm gonna look at this today." Not everyone wants to read the entire Bible, so why not just bounce around random verses and, and learn about them? It's yeah. also hard. I feel like sometimes when you're by yourself to uh, Really dive into it, uh, one verse, you know. Yeah. And not, and you know, if you're just the average person, the um, the average consumer of of biblical text, you're not going to sign up for a Bible study or something. I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's a lot. Of, it's yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. It is. It's, it really um, is. Which and it's great if you do, but it's like, uh, this is like the, um, YouTube do yoga with me. So that you don't you don't really want to go to a yoga right. studio. And, oh, I feel like I'm a little bit out of shape. Right. And I don't want to get on a mat in front of people. Come do it with us casually. Yeah. So we're reading out of Thessalonians. Two Thessalonians. Two Thessalonians, not one Thessalonians. Two Thessalonians 3, 1. Um, the title of this, sometimes they have little titles. Request for prayer. I'll, I'll just start reading. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As for other matters, brothers and sisters, pray for us that the message of the Lord may spread rapidly and be honored, just as it was with you. Okay. So um, yesterday's One Word Wednesday was going to be pray. 
So we're just, it's, it's, that's, yeah, what it, yeah, I'm sorry. That's what, no, don't be sorry. You're shitting again. <laughs> um, it's going to be pray. And, um, and as I, I, we, I said earlier, we are, we are being derailed by the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, th- these are verses. Of, so, you know, Paul, we, we, Paul, he's our very good friend, <laughs> St. Paul, St. Paul, Mississippi. He's in the new Testament. And these are the times that he, um, in, in the New Testament, in his letters, that he was asking the people to pray for him because St. Paul, he went around and he just spread the word of God. But he was he was derailed all the time. And he was derailed sometimes like in jail, but other yeah. times just with not enough to eat, not enough money to get to the next town, um, people throwing rocks at him. That, yeah, that and happen. so he would tell people to pray for him and whoever who was, if he was with Titus or whoever. And so I do feel that we need prayers from people to keep us on Help track us. i'm not kidding people say oh push the button subscribe like share no just pray yeah. for us because um i wish um remember myspace oh, do i remember myspace you love myspace i loved it well one of the things what i'm gonna talk about that what you and your add brain loved <laughs> um was the custom ability yes right like you it was it's funny you would think that it would have been more recent i know because it was all about coding and stuff it was harder than, and like you would yeah. you would find templates and just copy and paste the yeah. coding but i feel like it'd be a, whatever but you that. could change it you could change the way your mouse moved oh the music that was playing everything it was and i didn't just do it and leave it like i had like oh, it's oh a new yeah you, you were yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway I, I wish um youtube had that so we could change the like button to pray yeah I love that. Isn't that, isn't yeah. that good? Yeah. So um so I, I, I literally was thinking we want to stay on track. See? Devil's knocking the thing over. The, we want to stay on track and we want to um and for and for the, for what purpose? Just to spread the word of God. Justice. Just to just to spread spread the word of God. And um it's very easy to get off track and it's very easy to just to accept that. You're yeah. like, well, I can't do it anymore because now the time is different. Or I can't yeah. do it anymore because my computer broke. I can't do it anymore. And um, I would like us to keep doing it. And so it is. Uh, so then, I, you know, I've always had thoughts about prayers. Like, well, that's not fair. Do popular people get better, you know, um, things because they have people to pray for them? Um, I don't know. But let's give it a shot. <laughs> pray for us. Pray for us so we can keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. Thanks. It's we free really need it. and it's powerful. Help us. It's free. And, it's free and it's powerful. I was actually, you know, you always talk about love, and um, I was thinking yesterday about love and and what does that mean? You know, someone told me that that um, someone told me they loved someone, and I said, oh, like how? And they're like, how? Like I love them, and I know it. And I'm like, but how do you love them? And I guess it was an obnoxious question, but <laughs> <laughs> I do that. Um, pray that I'm not obnoxious. Um, and then I just thought I was thinking, well, okay, girl, answer your own question. And I was saying, I was thinking the number one thing I feel if someone wants to not show, but like if someone, how would you love me? If you prayed for me, do you know how important that is? You can't pay for someone to pray for you. You can, you can, right? Like, I'm sure there's like, uh, they have these intentions and stuff like this. Can't prove it. No. (laughs) We're going to sit with them and be like. All right, light a candle. Let me yeah. let me hear you say my name. If you pray for someone or if someone's praying for you, like like I love you and I'm praying for you, thank you. Yeah. You know what? Um, gifts are my favorite love language. Yeah. We'll always say it. <laughs> and what do I always say? At this point, you should be able to recite back to me why it's the, the only love language that matters. I feel so bad because it's not coming to me quickly. It's the only love because I, I don't... I. What makes it better than physical touch or telling someone that you love them? or Because you can doing... do it when they're dead. Okay, or not just, they don't have to be dead, but... <laughs> if they're not around. It's not about the gift at all. It's about... Oh, yeah. I remember this episode. Yeah. Every episode I say this, but I obviously don't remember it. Um, what what I think is so powerful and definitionally what love is with when it comes to gifts is it can't be faked, right? Like, well, it can, obviously. Yeah. You can get a bunch of flowers and say, I thought of you. Um, but it's the idea that the person's not around and they're on your mind and you are, want to do something for them. Right. And is that not what prayer is? Yeah. Except prayer is like you don't see. The nice thing about gifts on an earthly standpoint is 
it is a token of that thought all right but it's a thought that matters the thought that counts <laughs> it's a token it's i have this this is nice but what i'm thinking about is right when you were in the store looking at this and saying i want to get the suspenser the prayer you don't get the token but you it's that idea of right. that person's thinking caring loving you without you being around without you being right there just in general right yeah. Right. So we're unraveling. We haven't done the um the Instagram. Um and and this is all me for the Instagram. This pod, you know what I'm gonna title this podcast? <laughs> Cry for help. Cry for help. <laughs> Do it. The the Instagram has unraveled. I don't I, has it been three weeks? I don't know. Um we were doing the we're, Exodus is sitting there waiting. It's just sitting there. He's like the little paper clip in the old days who used to just wait while you're writing. Yes. Yes. Exodus is waiting because we said we'll do um the the what did you used to say? The this is the Bible verse of today. What did you say? Oh, man. Um, I said, <laughs> which Bible verse do you prefer? Which which Bible verse do you prefer? That's fallen off. Um, and then um, I guess it's just, it was just a little shake, a little bit of a shake because did we ever miss one before yesterday? Podcast? Yeah. Sure. Oh, we did? Yeah. I thought we didn't. No, we missed one. Okay. Oh, yeah. We recently had a Friday that went into. Yeah, it went to oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, do you want to look at your, your prayer or what? Oh, uh, yeah. We're still walking through. <laughs> uh, as for other matters, brothers and sisters, pray for us that the message of the Lord may spread rapidly and be honored, just as it was with you. So I, I think I mean, you don't have much time to talk about it because I have to go to work. It's National Park Day. National Park is Ranger. It? No. I saw the name of it and it was like, oh, that's me. And then I found out it's about like when the national parks were be made in america which is very is it important. free to go to a national park today i don't know probably all right, all right we're getting off track sorry um and for other other matters brothers and sisters pray for us that the messages of the lord may spread rapidly and be honored just as it was with you the only thing i'm gonna say about it is i think you're saying we're struggling right now which i guess wait, 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 <laughs> sometimes we're on top and it's like this idea of spreading that love like I'll scratch my back, you scratch yours. And so he's saying, um, the Lord may spread rapidly and be honored just as it was with you. So it was like, you know, they were walking around and it's like, okay, like we, we prayed for you and now it's like spreading around. Now we're saying we need it. Right. Send it back to us. Right. Like it's, 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 let's right. keep like sharing the wealth. Right. Uh, sharing the wealth with, with prayer. Someone will always be feeling good, feeling great. And it's like, well now spread it back to those who, want to get there and that's the whole idea of it right i think it's the purpose is the idea of part of this love is is selflessness yeah and it's when you're up you want to help those who are down right. don't don't forget that yeah and and like you know we're not out on the street with our with our um the, what are the sandwich board and saying pray for us to people who are like get out of the way yeah like i'm i'm nobody you know or i care nothing of you um, just as it was with you. So like if you were touched by the gospel or you were touched by um, an angel, if, if you appreciated uh, catching on to the channel or listening to what we were saying or seeing our Instagram. So it's, you know, it's, 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 it's we're not like accosting people. Yeah. Like, you know what? Oh my gosh, that works for me. Yeah, I will. I will spread the word. People will say the word of mouth, you know, as yeah. opposed to something else. So it's like, I will spread the word. So this is not even, we're not even saying tell a friend. We're saying, we're saying tell God to put us back on track. Yes. <laughs> Put us back on track. All right, guys, that is it for our podcast. Um, pray for us. Pray for yourselves and don't shut on yourselves. Uh, it's been real. It's been fun. Peace. Okay.